So how are we going to get people to play us at five aside, then, Joe? Let's ask them on swap and chips. Are we any good? Of course we are. Oh, Joe, look at the window. Sake. Oh. Oh. Joff, they're not even here yet. You know what, I don't think anyone will notice, just, <laughs> just get started, notice. go for them. Okay. Welcome to Swarfer and Chips. It's The guys are meant to be here, but they're not here yet. But what I do know is Mark is speaking to Chris from Sodic and he's going to be thinking a little bit outside the box. We have Matt Jeunesse here from Microlock Work Holding. He's had a deal that's previously been really successful and we're going to be talking about that today. And the guys are meant to be doing 10 reviews of 10 videos. Oh, here they are. Oh, sorry, we're late. <laughs> Oh, wow, you guys just, oh. you smell wonderful. <laughs> always, always, always do. <laughs> what did we miss? Uh, a lot, right. Welcome to the show, what guys. What do you have to? Uh, 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 crack on. Crack emails. On. Yeah, crack emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, right. <laughs> this is very strange. Um, so can we do the 10 reviews, if that's all right? Carry or on. can we do comments? This is just throwing me in the deep end. So. Comments to start, just to, so we can get our breath back. We've been out, out and about on the road talking to people. They all want to get on Swarf and Chips, so let's have a look. Hey, yeah, I'm Harry. Thanks for joining me at Kajul Limited. I'm just going to take this opportunity to have a shameless plug. We've got uh, six do guard spindles. Um, two fourth axis, one five axis. We do everything from start to finish, design, cam, machining and inspection, pattern equipment, press tools and castings. Uh, really hoping we're gonna be on Swarf and Chips because I watch it every week and it's, uh, especially the bloopers every few months, it's quite funny. Swarf and Chips on a Friday. You enjoy watching, don't you? That's right, you know, we look forward to a weekly rendition of uh, what's going on in the world, keeps us up to date with um, what the competition are doing and. And, and, and you wanted a mention on the show, what would you like to say? What would you say about RA Precision? Why aren't we involved, basically? Get us on there, you know, let people know that we exist. And what do you do for those that are watching? What do I do? What, do, what does the company do here? What are you making? Oh, we are general subcontractors. We work in all different industries from water purification, electronics, all the way through to uh, medical. So if anyone's watching the show this week, they should be in contact with you guys if they're looking for turned or milled parts. Turned or milled parts, that's what we like providing, well, that's what we're good at, and uh, we're only too pleased to uh, accommodate new customers. Keep watching the show, Richard. I will do indeed. Thank you very much. David, do you watch Swarf and Chips on a Friday? We do, yes. Yes, we get the email and uh, me and my colleagues watch it every, every Friday, yeah. What, what do you think of the show? Excellent. It brings a bit of light-hearted humour, but also covers a lot of engineering facts and um, new products and everything and it's very knowledgeable we really do uh, you know watch it and as an engineer it's often yeah. hard to get out and see what's happening in the marketplace yeah. does it does it tell you the latest trends and technologies yes it does yeah yeah because obviously in a busy environment people off-site you know it's not always seen upon as being beneficial, but watching Swarp and Chips, it doesn't cost us anything, and it keeps everybody involved. With all the apprentices, all the new people, you know, it's, they see new ideas, and then they embrace that. And we can, uh, we have a, a policy where we, people can have suggestions about new things, and a lot of the suggestions come from shows like Swarp and Chips. Good stuff. Keep watching. Thanks, David. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Aw, thanks Dave from Produmax, that's very kind. Right, your reviews, we're going to be so strict this week. We have 10 minutes, 10 videos to get through. The timer will start after I have asked the first question and at the end of every single minute, you will hear this noise. Ah. And then we move on to the and next one. And then you move yep. on. Timer will start after I've asked this question. Right, the Lubrivac 100 from Lubriserve. Sell the Lubrivac to me, either one of you, in one minute. Joe's sold Hoovers before, so I'm sure it'll, he'll be <laughs> best on, placed then, to start. I know what you're going to say in a minute. But yeah, it's, it's one Hoover out of a range of four, I believe. What does it do, Joe? <laughs> it can remove liquid and it can also blow liquid out as well. So you can use it to empty a machine sump 
or you can actually clean the machine down when, when you've done you, it. You've, I can't say my gag now because you, you've ruined it. But yeah. anyway. I know what's coming. Yeah, I, I think the versatility of this system is mm -hmm. incredible, isn't it? It doesn't matter whether it's swarf, coolants, neat cutting oils, sucking or blowing, <laughs> it can do either or, can't it? And yeah, I, absolutely. And I think every machine shop has a necessity for this type of, uh, for that type of equipment without There's a doubt. a subject title for this week. And, and do they have, is that range extensive? Does it go bigger, smaller? What's it, the, it, it goes up to the 200 at the moment, or is it maybe even the 400? And what's, yeah. the, what's the difference? What, how much swarf you can take in? or what? Well, it, it's, the, it's the capacity essentially. So if you've got a very large I don't know, multi pallet holes onto with a big machine sump. You need a big ho hoover. Vacuum rather quick. Right, we're going to have to move on. Sorry. I really wanted to add something there. Just to quickly say it's portable, it's easily accessible, and they can use it with water based fluids and neat oils. But I'm cheating. Sorry. Yeah. Joe, Norgen, <laughs> Norgen Engineers. Um, they invested in one hit machining with Akuma. They love NCMT as a company, but why did they invest in the Akuma? Well, Akuma, as we all know, is a premium brand, one of the finest machine tools available in the marketplace. And it's just multitasking. They want to get the jobs off complete. Um, they can balance turn on the front and the back. They've got the sub spindle, they've got the B axes. Just a great machine. They've gone for lots of extras, um, anti collision software. Took the words out of your mouth. They are hard turning to between two and four microns, which is very impressive. They've also got the B axis on this machine. They're also doing gear hobbing, they've got hobbing attachments. Uh, the software in the machine en enables them to do that. So that means they can eliminate an operation off the machine by taking parts off and getting them gear cut elsewhere. This guy used to work for NCMT and then moved uh, to the co this company and then he bought this machine. So that shows confidence in the fact of the company he used to work for, which made him select this Or he's still machine. on commission. Or he's still on commission. <laughs> but it's a box no. guideway machine, very, very powerful. When the door opens on this machine, you see the flexibility that it offers. Mm. It's got a, a, a turret at the bottom with driven tools. Sometimes when you're to sell... Right, okay, we're gonna have to move on. Right, Fanuc Automation. Paul, you went there, plug and play. It really is that simple, isn't it? Yeah, automation. We've spent some time at Fanuc here. I wanted to find out how easy it is to integrate a robot to a machine tool. How easy I is think it? Really easy. It's very, very easy. It's plug and play. People say about plug and play, what does it mean? Simply there's an interface, there's a, um, an ethernet cable that goes from the robot into the machine. Everything is then set and the robot is then pretty much ready to go. Obviously you have to teach it where parts are, mm -hmm. but the controls on this FANUC machine are already set up. So it is, it is really as simple as putting the robot onto the machine. I, I think, sorry Lindsay, I think you, the word teach, the perfect word to use, because you do teach it, you don't program the robot as such. There's also, the FANUC have already done a program, you drive it into its correct position and you teach that position. But all the software's in the control here. It, the, the robot, robot can, you can control the robot by the machine and control the machine by the robot oh, as really? well. So that just shows you that how easy it is to use. Just to finish off with, there was a question as part of the video, safety. Yeah. That, you covered it. Yeah, there's, there's no issues with safety on, on these robots. <laughs> There is no issue. There is no issues. <laughs> right, okay. Woo! Right, um, Open Mind Hypermill, now in place at CNF Precision. Yeah, they, they buy Matsura machines. They've just bought Hypermill from Open Mind. Uh, you can see three of the parts there. The first part we talk about took them, I think, about 12 or 13 hours to program. It looks like a turning job, but it's not actually done. It's done by uh, interpolating, uh, milling interpolation. Within one day, they were trained on the Hypermill software and they were using it on their machines. So it's very, very quick to learn and, and, and easy to use. And they're actually machining 85% metal removal on the part that I'm talking about there. Mm -hmm. So there's only 15% of, the, comp of the, the component left, left at the end of it. What were they using before? They weren't using, they weren't using any systems. Really? No, no, it's wow. incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. They spent a lot of time searching the market. An open mind, they felt offered them everything they needed from a milling uh, perspective with their machines. They've got five axis, they've got multi pallet five axis machines, and they're doing 40 mil depths of cut on that third part as well, straight in. It, they also say that they've had a reduced cycle time. Massively. And just a quick one hyper mil max, what does that mean? It means you can reduce your cycle times by up to 90% as a combination of power cutters and the various cycles within their, in their software. Perfect, thank you. Brother Speedio, I've actually got two different um, numbers here. 50% faster at CTPE, but then they said they got jo jobs up to 70% faster uh, with the brother Speedio. 
Why is it so fast? The reason it's so fast is a combination of factors, the acceleration and the deceleration of the machine, the chip to chip time, which is, is unbelievably quick on this machine. Uh, and you've also got 30% less power usage on this machine, so it's very environmentally friendly. Mm. They like this machine because it's, it's got a bigger tool change capacity, but like you've said already, a lot of those combination of factors mean that they can reduce cycle times by up to 50%. They've gone from BT40 to BT30. We talk about that a lot. Can it achieve the same results as BT40 on heavy cutting can, milling? Yeah. And it can. Very, very well equipped machine. Very, Back very in the fast. day, I remember these and other brands, they, they drilled and tapped holes and that was it. But those days are well and truly gone. These are, you know, these are workhorse now. Really, really efficient machines. This has changed. The parts that he's doing, that he might have had cycle times of 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and now down to kind of six, seven minutes. You imagine that. In small terms footprint of, as well. Small footprint, environmentally friendly, fast. <laughs> even put programs from Fanuc Controls into that control and quickly adapt them. Joe, you went to visit GPR. They purchased a Matsura. However, it's the ITC tooling I want to talk to you about. What have IT, ITC done for them? Okay, GPR. They've been well known for a long, long time now, three and four axis machining, but they've actually just gone into five axis with the MX520 from Matsura. Uh, they're quite a challenging job, but a very challenging job, and ITC managed it start to finish with the help of Lang and Matsura. Um, cohesion between their partners, really. So it was Big Kaiser, Widia, and ITC themselves. And they've got this real challenging subsea part, and, and they did it, and they did it much quicker. You're talking about the tool in the cutting tools, the tool Absolutely, holders, everything. Yeah. Everything you see within that machine, obviously the Lang Vice as well. The Lang Vice is, is popular with the Matsura machines. That as a collective solution is very popular. Matsura machine, Lang Vice, ITC tooling. Do they have some kind of um, no, collaboration? I don't think so. No, I don't think there's anything official. No, it just so happens to be that they all work well together, so why not? I picked up from this video as well that he, the guy had lots of machines in his machine shop, but his selection of the Matsura was purely based on the quality of the machine, the speed of the machine and how we could actually achieve the accuracy. <laughs> of the two. Oh, oh, okay, we're moving on, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Stop. Okay, right. <laughs> right, Paul Dugar, the GTX 625 axis vertical machining center. What I like here is Eric has actually listened to what the customers are wanting from a machine, gone back to the manufacturer, and then, well, the company said, this is what they want, got really close to the, the stages of creating this machine, and gone straight for customer demand. Yes. <laughs> I need not say any more because you've covered it all in yeah. But no, 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 that's brilliant. The, this machine is very open access. They identified from the marketplace that they do offer five axis machines, but they didn't have one of this configuration. Traveling column type machine, high speed spindle with a very, very powerful uh, cutting capability as well. 40 tool magazine. And the access is a big thing. Loading the part, also a big table, 620 mil diameter. And they've got a lot of customers Dugard have in the south of England as well as in the Midlands and, and up north too. And this machine, they've identified that, that they need this type of machine, so that's why they've bought they bought it in. They cover everything, don't they? Yeah. Everything from a small manual tuning centre right up to this type of machine. But Eric is the managing director. Not often in companies can you stand and talk with a managing director and he know the nuts and bolts and the ins and outs of everything on this machine. Yeah. The solenoids, the, the, the casting, the, you know, the linear rails or the roller guides, everything, mm. the speed. Well, he's got his name on it. It's got to be good. Absolutely. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Right, you guys are actually really good at this. Right. Um, Mark went to Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence. There was a cell, um, and it talks about quality drives productivity. It's a, a it's a white light automated measurement cell. What does it do? This system is a cell that they're moving around the world at the moment to try and demonstrate that you can measure components uh, during cycle. And this is what this robot and this uh, metrology, this metrology equipment does. So, for example, this cylinder head here is being could, as an example, is being measured in cycle. And the benefit to that means that if there is a an in inaccuracy or something is creeping into the operation, which is going to mean that this part could be scrapped or need to be reworked, it can adjust the offsets in the machine to do it during cycle. And, and you may say, looking at it, it might be overkill, but it's not. Is it? You imagine the cost of having an operator stood on a machine tool taking that away from the machine tool, inspecting it every single time. This is going to identify if there's an error. If it's out of tolerance, the machine can either stop or maybe even put that process correct. So when you look at it, you know, I think 
It's perfect. If you fast forward five years, everyone will have them. That could be a five axis machine part yeah. and throughout the whole process, every operation, you're measuring the part and you're checking that everything is correct. So you're not having to take the part off and put it on High a seat. High value part, that. High value part. So also, if the environment is, uh, doesn't matter about temperature environment, it takes it into consideration. Okay, you're breaking the rules now. Right, Mark is um, with Chris at Sodic. Actually, we're going to go over there in a minute, but um, he's talking about the launch of the ALC 600G. It's an upgrade. Why? is it classed as an upgraded machine? Sodic machines, in my eyes, are very, very... Sorry, just look at the height difference. Yeah. <laughs> little and large. You've got a minute, guys. Yes. Sorry, Sorry. <laughs> quite high, high precision machine. Some of the points I took out of this, linear drive motor technology, which means that the machines are highly accurate, they're very fast, but you get very little wear and tear with linear motors because there's no ball screws. Sodic are a big believer in that, aren't they? Yep. Also, the auto wire feed, I don't know whether you saw about that, that they're putting a lot of emphasis on accuracy of parts, longevity of, of getting correct components off the machine by having an accurate wire feed, which can run automated mm. as well. Reduced energy consumption. Yeah. And you, you do see a lot of Sodics in the marketplace. It's a very popular machine. And, and the machines are even built now with a lot of fibre optic cables rather than, uh, you know, kind of the, the traditional copper cables and connectors. Again, that increase, it improves performance and there's less wear and tear on parts. You're getting the data around the machine quicker, aren't you? You are. And I look at this machine, I look at the Sodic in the EDM world as like the DMG Mori in the milling and turning world. The machines have got all the LED <laughs> lights when they turn off the lights. It's very, very it's very good. Pleasing. They also offer a 10-year accuracy as standard as well. Right, we're going to go and head over to Mark, who is with Chris at Sodic. And then after, we've got Matt Jeunesse from Microlock Workholding, who's got a brilliant deal, and he's going to talk to us about that. Lindsay, guys, sorry I can't be in the studio again this week. I'm here, Soddy Tech UK in Coventry. I'm here with Chris Halley, the sales director. Hi, Chris. Hi, how you doing, Mark? Now, this machine, the AG6CL, is one of your most popular machines in the UK, but one of the best-selling Sodic machines worldwide. Yeah, that's correct. The AG60 seems uh, the most popular machine, both in the UK and globally. Um, it's a great size machine. Obviously, linear motors are, are a big benefit when we're die syncing. Uh, you get great surface finishes, great speed, and minimal electrode wear. So yeah, this is this is the most popular machine. And you're telling me that the, you've just sold the 2,000th machine in the UK. That's right. Sodic commissioned for us a gold version of this machine uh, that we've sold now to a customer in Herefordshire that you guys are going to go down and do a piece on in the next couple of weeks. Um, and that signifies 2,000th machine sale in the UK. Uh, and that's a big milestone for us. And to celebrate this, are you offering anything else to incentivize the market to buy more machines? Yeah, I think we are. So we're going to uh, uh, sort some deals out in the next couple of weeks. Um, there's going to be uh, die sinkers of a, of, a, of a limited range and some wire eroders as well of a limited range. And we're going to be able to do some special offers on those to, uh, to celebrate 2,000 machines sold. So good news. But to sum up, you're also 25 years old, or the company is. That's right, yeah. I wish I was 25 years old, Mark. Um, so yeah, Soditech's uh, celebrated their 25th year in business this year. And uh, again, that's a, that's a double milestone for us because when we started here in the UK, there was only a handful of machines, uh, Sodic machines. And uh, to celebrate selling now our 2000th machine into the UK, that's a, that's a double milestone for us. So we're all very proud. Well, I can think of three actually, because you're 25 years old, Soditech UK. You've just sold your 2000th machine into the UK. And for the first time, Chris, I'm the same level size as you yeah it makes a change actually for all the times i've known you i've known you for many many years mark and uh you know it's nice to look you square in the eyes rather than looking down on uh, on top of your head and uh you know the fact that you're a chelsea supporter that doesn't really uh that doesn't really change the issue so no it's good to be the same height it means a lot chris back to you guys in the studio thank you for joining us matt thanks for having me <laughs> right, in the politest way possible, I'm going to ask you, kind of, I know why you're here, you've had loads of success, yep. so talk to us why you're here today. Well, before I start, um, I, I went to see a customer yesterday called Baker Engineering, a guy called Warren, and he really wants you to say hello to him. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. You're so, famous. <laughs> <laughs> so, Warren at Baker Engineering. Yep. So, hi Warren at Baker Engineering, get some micro locks. <laughs> Has he bought one? Not yet. Ah. Uh, Warren from Baker Engineering, buy a micro lock. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I know you're here today. We've had a big uh, uh, kind of campaign regarding yep. this. Micro lock kit 
75. That's right, yeah. Tell me all about this. Well, we've sold six of them already in the last two weeks. A um, few more potentials as well. But as you can see, it's basically uh, a base plate with, uh, that's 450 by 300 in size, four moving jaws, two fixed jaws, and all the parallels and everything you need to clamp four parts, basically. So it's a work holding system, but for people that haven't seen the promotion so far, yeah. and they haven't seen the system before, what, what does it do and what does it go on? You know, and what's the benefits of using it? Well, it can go on any vertical machining centre or horizontal machining centre. As you can see, it's got the fixing holes already so you can bolt it down. Uh, it has tenons underneath to locate on the machine table. But the idea behind Microlock is that it's a versatile and expandable way of clamping square or irregular shapes, but also in a known datum position rather than just, just clamping something. Matt, um, I want to ask you, can you, I, I don't know, but can you add them all together so you create? You can, yeah. I mean, they've got tenons, half tenons around the outside, so you can actually butt them up next to each other to form bigger tables. So, Have you ever done Lego? Yes. It's a bit like a big Lego. <laughs> it's like a big Lego. Last night. Simplifying it for me. <laughs> David Beckham likes Lego, yeah. so <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Um, I also wanted to ask, um, and this is just to simplify, these parts here, these can be removed, you can have larger and yeah, smaller pieces. You can turn them around, you can put these to one end and clamp larger parts, so it's completely versatile. And is it, they're softer clamps as well for different materials? We do uh, soft jaws as well, so you can profile your own shapes to suit irregular, irregular jaws. I think one of the, the things to point out as well with this system is that a lot of engineers will look at this and think it's just for multiple work holding, so you've got lots of the same parts, and you're trying to fit them in a smaller working area, which is very true, yep. but it goes beyond that because it gives them the versatility, doesn't it, to do bigger plate It does, work. yeah. Well, I mean, we sell quite a lot of systems in the mould and dye industry where people are holding just you know, large plates, but again, they need the flexibility to be able to move the clamps around and locate the workpiece quickly, so yeah. And what I found was really interesting is how small uh, area you can clamp on. Isn't it something like two or three millimetres? Two millimetres, yeah. And you can still generate a huge clamping force. You can. Um, on the 75 series, it's one and a half tonnes, and uh, on the 100 series, it's two tonnes. Wow. Why are you doing this promotion? Well, basically, um, we were a bit quieter before Christmas, and uh, we had a lot of material, so we decided to um, you know, run it overnight on our Matsura machine. And um, basically, we made about 30 of these. Um, like I said, we've sold about six of them already. Uh, as a result of MTD's marketing? Has as to a result said. of the MTD. Um, we've sold a few others anyway, um, and we're, uh, we've got about 10 left, I think. So, but once they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. So basically, anyone who's watching the show, yeah. you know, if you need a piece of work holding, it's the Microlot 75. They can go onto our website, find out the details, your website, and find yeah. out the details. And what are they going to have to pay? Well, I think you're going to have to ask Colin for that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's find out. <laughs> Two two fifty, really? <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> what a clown! <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, what do you get for the two two fifty? Right, Lindsay, you get uh, a base plate, uh, seventy five pitch, four fifty by three hundred in size. Um, four of the moving jaws with all the parallels and uh, two of the fixed jaws. Again, all the parallels, end stops, um, side clamps, everything's included. We get a tool, you get a tool kit and uh, you get uh, a fixing kit. And um, at the moment, we're just providing uh, some soft jaws as well. Great. Thank you so much for joining That's us, right. Matt. Thanks again for inviting me on. It's no problem. A... You were like to say you weren't invited, you just turned up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for today, it's been really good. You were actually quite good at the 10 minute reviews and it was a great deal from Matt as well. So, but thank you, you were late, so I'm gonna head off, see you later. Charlie, we're, we're gonna have to close the bye, show. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, bye. Well, well, we'll give it a go anyway. Hope you've enjoyed today's show. Don't mm. forget to, to like, share, comment. And comment, yeah, I think this deal was great. You can find out about this Microlock deal on, on the website and MTDCNC. You can see previous episodes, is it the left or the right? You go that way, I'll go that way. On here. And don't forget, keep those spindles turning. Guys, what the hell turning. has just Easy. happened to my car? See you next week. <laughs>